Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about expansion tanks, I'm going to tell you how much pressure to put in them, how to tell how much pressure to put in them, where to put them in your system, and what sequence of events you have to follow for them to be properly installed. I'm going to show you three examples of a diaphragm or bladder type or bag type tank. The gray tank is a diaphragm tank. This red one here is a bladder type tank with a removable bladder or bag as it's called sometimes. Setup and operation is identical between the two. I also have a larger version of the diaphragm type tank. Again, the application is exactly the same on these. Before you attach your tank to the system, it needs to be precharged to the pressure of the system at the attachment point. On this one where the pressure is 30 psi on the suction side of the pump, that's where we're attaching. So we're going to precharge the tank to 30 psi before we attach it. If we were attaching it on the discharge side of the pump where there's 65 pounds of pressure, we would precharge it to 65 pounds. If we put the tank over here, there may be 45 pounds there. That's what we would charge it for. So you precharge the tank to the pressure of the attachment point. Tanks typically come with a precharge of 12 psi. Uh, that's fine if you're attaching in a point with 12 psi. That way, as the water expands, the tank will start taking on water, but you have the full volume. You have an empty tank to start with. You have the full volume. Uh, if you attach a 12 psi precharged tank to a place that's 70 pounds, the tank will fill up two-thirds with water immediately, and your tank size is greatly diminished. You'll start popping off relief valves. So you're going to precharge this before you connect it. Why before you connect it? Pay close attention to this. Why do you precharge it before you connect it? If you hook it to the 70 pound system and it's 12 pounds in there, when you check your pressure right here, it's going to show you 70 pounds because that air is now compressed by the pressure coming in from the other side. So before you connect it, before you connect it, did you hear me? Before you connect it, you need to precharge this. This is another one of my famous not to scale drawings. This is supposed to be a tank. This is your system connection coming in. This is an isolation valve, ball valves, whatever you want to use. I recommend putting a T and another ball valve here. That way you can isolate the tank and take the system pressure off of this tank. When you isolate it here and open this one, then you'll be able to read that charge. If you cannot isolate the tank or if you cannot take the pressure off, whatever the system pressure is, is going to read on that tank and you won't know what your precharge was.